This presentation is one of the Salon Studies series at Level 2, all about the hair and skin. This particular presentation is about the epidermis. The epidermis, the uppermost layer of the skin. The epidermis. This is the uppermost layer of the skin and it has five layers. The horny layer, the clear layer, the granular layer, the prickle cell layer, the basal cell layer. Each layer has a specific function. Let's look at the layers of the epidermis. The uppermost layer is the horny layer. Below that is the clear layer. The middle layer of the epidermis is the granular layer. And below that is the prickle cell layer. And the lowest part is the basal cell layer, which is next to the dermis. Let's look more closely at the horny layer. The horny layer is the top layer of the epidermis. It is made of hard, flattened keratin cells. And these cells are constantly shedding away from the surface of the skin. Below this is the clear layer. The clear layer is three to four layers thick. It is only found on the palms of the hands and the soles of the feet. So this layer acts as a protector against friction, like extra padding. Below the clear layer is the granular layer. The granular layer is two to four layers thick. The cells here begin to die and flatten. It is the middle layer of the epidermis. Below the granular layer is the prickle cell layer. The prickle cell layer is 10 to 20 cells thick. And here spines connect to other cells. The prickle cell layer sits on top of the basal cell layer and the cells start to harden and produce keratin. Also melanin or colour pigmentation is produced in this layer. The lowest part of the epidermis is the basal cell layer. The basal cell layer is a single layer of column shaped cells. It is the deepest layer of the dermis. This layer constantly produces new living cells which are pushed up to form the next layer. Let's have a summary of what we've learnt so far in this presentation. We've learnt that the uppermost layer is the horny layer of hard flattened cells. Below this is a clear layer, but it's only on the hands and feet. Below this is a granular layer, the middle layer of the epidermis, where cell cells start to flatten and die. And in the lower part of the epidermis is the prickle cell layer. Here is keratin and melanin are produced. And at the lowest part is a basal cell layer, which is constantly producing new living cells that migrate upwards to form other layers. Finally, we look at the summary of all the layers within the epidermis. The horny layer. Top layer made of flattened skin cells which are constantly being shed. Below this we have a clear layer of three to four layers thick, but it's only found on the palms of the hand and the soles of the feet. It acts as a protector against friction.
in the middle we have the granular layer which is two to four layers thick here the cells begin to die and flatten Below the granular layer we have the prickle cell layer. This is 10 to 20 cells thick where spines connect to other cells and this sits on top of the basal layer. Here cells start to produce keratin and harden. Melanin is also produced in this layer. At the lowest part of the epidermis is a single layer of column shaped cells. These are cont continually produce new cells which are being pushed up to form the next layer. This ends the presentation on the epidermis. Thank you.